Well, 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 everyone, welcome back to another video. I miss doing these videos. I gotta catch y'all up with a lot of stuff. My mom finally moved from Android to iOS. She got the iPhone 13, here's the box, but enough with that. Um, last weekend, I did not do a follow-up because I had to attend a celebration of life and the whole nine yards. In the midst of that, I had to actually get a replacement iPad because this iPad Air up here it landed down on my other iPad Pro just right and shattered the whole entire face. So, without further ado, let's get started with the fourth replacement model of my 2018, Status bar item. 2018 iPad Pro. Cannot believe it. Status bar item. I still, to this day, am questioning how the um, iPad Pro face completely shattered. I still, to this day, this is a completely brand new iPad Pro. Um, they had to replace the whole device and stuff like that because that thing was beyond repair. And I did a backup before iOS 16 and it's still forcing me to download iOS 16. So there we go. I'll do my follow-up coming up what's up everyone hope everyone's having a good day um i did record previously thursday evening about this ipad pro which i'll get into a little bit more i either it was a bug or an issue is going down with restoring from an icloud backup over 16 but with all that other stuff out of the way when it rains it pours something went wrong this video will be short um i have to uh, pertain to an emergency today so sorry bear with me and stuff like that so um, I did put a eSIM of Mint Mobile for a year to test drive. Yeah, for a year. Test drive on this phone to see how 16 performs modem-wise on the iPhone 11. Plus, um, July 5th, there'll be a review coming out for the 13 Pro Max. And then um, when this iPhone 11, when I ordered it, its anniversary is coming up. So that will also be recorded. The reason I'm releasing it a day later than... Um, six months, six months and one day is because of July 4th. It's a holiday here in the United States. I don't want to be monitoring social media. I'm going to a firework event and just enjoying life. So I want to take a break. And then July 8th, I am going on vacation. So there'll be a follow up that will be pre recorded. It will be uploaded and available by 11 a.m. Saturday. But I will not be viewing comments until late in the night around 10 p.m. Eastern and stuff like that. So there will be a little drop off on content um, due to the fact that I am going on vacation. First thing on 16, I got into the customizing phase a few nights ago. I put batteries, sunset, and then when my phone gets unlocked, it will show most of the time my activity rings. I do like how I can long press, and if I don't want this anymore, I can swipe up and press that delete button, even with voiceover actually, and it will ask me if I want to delete this like that and i'll ask do you want to delete this system wallpaper i do not but i did customize this and look i can do different ones here here's the ios 16 one and then boom for the home screen or i could go back down to here bring all that down and then if i want to switch say i want to switch it up and go to oh i don't know this one boom there we go so i updated wallpapers i got to customizing and having a little bit of fun now we're going to move on to um ipad os and some interesting stuff that's happened between the ipad air and when this ipad pro Saturday, was restoring so the first thing is Saturday, that when this ipad pro was restoring the wi-fi bars would not show up it did start showing up this morning and i'm like that is really weird so when it was restoring it was not showing correctly and stuff like that and now on the ipad air there was an issue there was an interesting issue that kept unfolding every time i started screen sharing for like the first week and a half with um ios uh, ipad os 16 when i started screen sharing in facetime it would not show the correct icon it thought i was only recording audio as noted here as y'all can see the little icon was indicating that i was audio recording but i was actually screen sharing in a facetime call it did show the correct indicators but when it was showing only audio when i tapped on it it redirected me to the facetime app but i would not be able to um 
stop screen uh, sharing. The only way you can stop screen sharing if you do get this bug is to lock your screen like this and it will stop screen sharing. That's the workaround. So all in all, iPadOS, iOS 16, it's beta two is impressive. I was having interesting modem issues with this device, the iPad Pro. It was literally telling me to download apps over cellular when this is only a Wi-Fi modeled iPad. You know, interesting beta bugs, but all in all, iPadOS and iOS 16 in a whole for the last two weeks, even though I missed the follow up last weekend, it's good. I honestly, Apple's going in a better direction. VoiceOver, uh, if you use certain voices, the pronunciation is getting fixed. They've made good progress. I'm excited for Beta 3. Should be out possibly this week. If not, because of the July 4th holiday, it may be out Wednesday. But if not, Wednesday, Tuesday through Thursday, it may be out. But if not, it will be out next week, somewhere in between the 12th and the end of that week. I'd have to look at dates. Probably the 15th. Somewhere in between the 12th and 15th. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. I have to run for an emergency. And I will see y'all in a later video. Peace, everyone.